Ooh, welcome back everybody, Maxwell here, bring you another episode of Oriental Empires playing as the Shang Dynasty. So, we're going to continue to continue to explore and hopefully find some uh, more interesting, some, some interesting lands. So, the next target that we're definitely going to go for, our first target, has to be the Han. We have 14 turns more of peace, but they have my Jade, and I want my Jade. How dare they have jades, what I'm saying. Uh, let's move you just over to here. There's nowhere else to explore except for up there. It, it looks like this is the only jade in the entire game, which is actually really sad. Should be more. The fact that the Han got it right off the bat is a little annoying. Oh well. Let us end the turn. So hopefully in this turn, uh, we'll be able to get even more buildings built, more money, We'll finally be able to push out a lot of really good units. Oh, I need to get the uh, the siege uh, units technology because that one's really need useful to have, of course, because a lot of places have walls now. Almost all of them. You don't, but you do. You do. You do. Oh, oh, hey, it's our fr it's the another level two. So somebody actually upgraded their place. Is that oh, that is your capital. Good job. You haven't done it. Ah, you did. Good. So some people are definitely above 40 people now. Well, there's nothing over here. Aha, we finished this. We can now appoint a strategist. This is what I want. The enables recruitment of the whirlwind. And I can get Crouchy Tiger. Well, let's get this so we can start getting ready for siege abilities. You... I still don't understand why I can't get pez or palace units, because I should be able to. Huh, whatever. Yin is at 125. This is... How much money are we getting from taxes? Almost 500. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, the grain tax and people's contribution. That's so nice. So we get two for every person. And if we do another salt tax, which is a horrible idea, I'm not going to do it. But if we do the salt tax from the edicts, we get another one per person, but this effect over here is absolutely horrible. Point of strategist. Oh, it's the same as the... Sh uh, yeah, this is pad. I don't want to spend... get anybody unhappy just because of that stuff. It's a very silly thing to do. Alright, you're... whoa. One turn away from... One, two, one, two. Yeah, if you do this, you automatically get 120 each from this. And maybe I can build the quay up here. It's, it's a hope. One, two. I should be able to. Right on the, the big lake. And I can trade to you. Maybe I'll put a city down here at some point. The entire point is that we have 14 authority. But that means that if I start attacking people and trying to take over the cities, the authority is going to get in the way. And that's where it seems like instead of conquering, this game is more of uh, at some point you want to so quest audience and agreement... They recognize you as Emperor. That's what you want to do. That's how you win Emperor and Son of Heaven. Or you can force them to become vassals as well. That's how you do it. Because you can't take all the cities because authority will not allow you to do it. Uh, but I definitely want this city just because of this. There's no way I'm not having this city. Most other cities I don't care that much about. I like that one because the rhinoceros. But I'm happy with having vassals everywhere. One more turn and then we can get that. We have 3,000 every single turn. Is there really nothing that can... Uh, ooh, look at the cultural develop or construction development that I have compared to a lot of other people. Own units killed. Enemy soldiers killed. Battles fought. We're way down there. Military strength. We're third, though. Own population. Oh, my God. So much of a difference. Number of settlements... Cultural victory points and victory points. All right. Oh, and the turn. Oh, people need to be moved. Um, more fish and such. You're smoothing, right? Yeah. You're still fighting. Good God. How have you not beaten these guys yet? Oh, whatever. I mean, you seriously should be able to just crush these guys. But it seems like you get, like, one or two of them, and then they just don't do anything. 
So this is the level above. I think he has level two and we have level three of the uh, mind. So we're definitely ahead in that aspect. All right, let's get this gold, deep gold mine. Is there another uh, technology after that? I don't remember. It was on a craft, right? Yeah. Ceramics trade increases. Armor rating, okay. Value of the silk. Uh, it doesn't look like there's another. Ooh, that's good. Knowledge development rate, which is completely different than craft, but. So I need to also get uh, this one so that I can start trading iron as well, which is always good. I want iron. Um, all right, so you made it to this side. How about we can let you continue exploring? Ooh, another in our rhinoceros. Uh, well, there's two cities I can form there. You're very useless. You should, although, yeah, you should have been a little bit slow. More down here, this area. So you can possibly get these and the rhinoceros. This city right here is rather useless. Alrighty then. Um, yep, yeah, still safe. Oh no, we now have all of the mines done, so. Right? You, I finished this one. Yeah, oh, oh you're not done, but I've done it. You've done both, right? Oh, yeah. Almost done. Ah, I can do a wharf now. Uh, produces items for trade. External trade. Holy crap. Do you see that? How are you so high? Ceramics and copper. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. I want to go over to here, please. Yes, to you. Yeah, that's way higher than you, my, even my capital. That's impressive. Uh, I could do this. Let's do this. Good amount of money spent there. Sell ceramics to everybody around. Mostly my own cities, because I selectively built them in places that... Oh, okay. Let's move you over there. In places that have good trade abilities and I don't build them anywhere else. Alright, you. Eh, what? Oh, you're kidding me. Because it's rained a lot, there's now marshes here. Flooded land. But I want right there, so I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I got you. You're 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 fine. End turn now, please. <sighs> Alright, there's more fighting. The Han and the Dong Rang are getting it on. You finished raining so I can settle now? Answer, no. So can I hit you? Because <laughs> that's very annoying that you don't let me do what I want. Let's build some quays. Because trading is needed, especially since external trade is 300 with you. And 200 with you. 18. I'll build it right there, I guess. So I could possibly get out there if necessary, or around. Eh. Um, who else can build a quay? Oh, I can build a quay here. Although, that wouldn't be that smart. I could only build it connecting to these two, so that's fine for now. Uh, you still can't build a quay? That's really annoying. I would have thought I might be able to do it, but I guess not. Should I build a quay with you? Oh, I should build a quay with you, though. Absolutely. Oh, no, no, I can't. Start there. If I start there, oh, right. I'm building that, so there's no point in building a quay there. Because uh, it's still possible that they haven't fixed that issue with, uh... The issue with it not recognizing... Like, you can't stack up things. Which is silly, because you should be able to fix that. One turn until that's done. This is cost 800, but once that's done, I can... Oh, I need to have you increase. Can I construct more farms than I have population? Okay. Annoying, I guess? Oh, whatever. 
Uh, end turn. All right, over here. Ah, okay, so we have a couple more people. We have another rhinoceros. Let's move you over to there. You can move over to there. You can stay there, and you're moving to there. And you still need three more turns to get to you. You are a notable statesman. All right. Where? Yep, you don't care. All right, when this stops, finally stops raining, hopefully I'll be able to build the city there because I want both rhinoceroses. Rhinoceries. Oh. Well, that's an odd thing you're doing, but yeah, sure. Five gold per turn for five turns. I can take that. Oh no! Oh, as he ages, he's no longer the man of vigor. No! You went from five to four! How dare you! Alright, you. Uh, upgrade, please. Oh, how's your trading going? 145, wow. Trading good on copper. Good job. I'm surprised. Are in these places? Oh, they don't have any copper here. Ooh, nice. Um, ooh, Mo can be uh, expanded. Please and thank you. Um, you have two more turns. You can finally do it. All right, perfect. So, boom. Can I build a quay? Oh, I can, but it's an odd place there. Let us not build anything, but I guess that and that, just to lock those down so I don't have to worry about them ever again. But I should uh, cut down some, one of these forests, this one, and then build a quay there. I mean, building a quay there is fine, but that's an odd place. Oh, whatever. You move there. You over there. You're already in that city. Well, everything else looks good. Don't have any money to spend on anything. You're still fighting with each other, although you're going down. These guys are tribal. All oh, right, these guys are tribal people. Wait, what happened to your army? Uh, military, do you, oh my God, you're so weak. I could fight them and make them my vassals. I wonder, White D, I mean, they are at peace, friendly attitude. Do they, they're much weaker. Are you at war with anybody? No, all right. So request audience and agree, become vassal. Oh my God, they would probably accept. Let's do that then. Damn, okay, let's do this and then uh, they give you payment. Wait, what? Wait, can I? Yeah, we want them to become our vassal. So they are now underneath me, right? Ah, okay, so that's what it means. So the Wu are underneath me, like that. You don't want, uh, you haven't sent peace to me. But they are underneath me. They're my vassal. Can I do anybody else as my vassal? I don't remember if it's like one of those things where uh, you can't have too many vassals. But, I mean, even just having these guys, their land's pretty crap, so there's no point in me, you know, fighting over it. And you have one person all the way down here. Which, again, is just plains land. I, I mean, I understand. These guys are herders, so they need just lots of plains land, but... You got no resources whatsoever, it's kind of dull. I want to kill the Han. You two are pretty much allies. Uh, I want to kill you, is what I'm thinking. Is there anybody else I should like uh, bring under my wing? Just off the bat, maybe you? That means I want to have to fight you, but... Or the Zhao? I don't know. Uh, well, for now I think it's okay. I can do the kin. The kin would never do it. I, I just want to see. I, I know this isn't going to work, but yeah, it's way in the other person's favor. Oh my god, way in the other person's favor. Oop. 
accidentally picked out of the game. Um, power is equal with Shu. Okay. Uh, the Dong Yi. Huh. All right, so they're not exactly... I'd get the Shu on my side, but they're poor, stable, equal in power. Where are you, Shu? Is that your only place? No, you have one... Th what is this baloney? When did this happen? <laughs> you just took some of my land away from me, you bugger. Oh, whatever, it's fine. If I make them my vassal, though, I'll have another trading partner. Consistent trading partner. Uh, all right, well, it doesn't matter. Let's just end the turn. We got somebody as our vassal. Huzzah. Never have to worry about them. <laughs> Although you should really finish this fight, like, at some point, please. Uh, there's now a line to finish this. Why don't you, why doesn't anybody go here and then try attack? Um, an ally request. Two nations have gone to war. Um. Wait, what? Who declared war on what? Can I get out of this and then go back? Pause. No. Show help screen. <laughs> uh. Mm. Oh god, look at this. Answer no to cancel. They're my vassal. I paid one for them. I wonder if that will still make them my vassal. Yeah. We are at war with the Ba. The Ba attacked you. Yeah, why? Well, you're still my vassal, correct? Yep. And I don't see you taking any land, unless maybe it's down here, which I don't even think you deserve. Well, I can't say you don't you deserve it. That's a little harsh, but... Eh. Oh, man, you have a really good city right here. You have rhinoceros and mulberry. Um... Alright, so now I have money coming through. I can't spend it on any other mine except for that one. So... Should I go through and see what type of cities I should build? Yin has the uh, bronze trade going, right? You bet barely any money. 14 external trade, that's ridiculously small. There's no way I'm going to do anything. You don't trade anything, that's the problem. I could build this. If I do this, I don't know how it will shake up everything. Because the only other person you trade now, it's it's not worth it. Yeah, there's no point in doing anything here in bow. Uh, no. You. No, you don't need any weapons. Ah, uh, I should probably build, continue building the other just stuff. See, the idea is like... I, I don't know what the exact math behind it is, but I know that if you build this, it reduces trade for other cities. So if Yin is trading to B for a mass amount of money for the foundry, all of a sudden that trade is gone. And it's not like it can go anywhere because we're not we're taxing the trade, so these two places can't trade anymore, so that trade line just evaporates, so we lose money. I don't know, like, if you have every single one, if the trade will just somehow even out to a, a good amount. I kind of don't know the math behind it. Yawn. Should I start building palaces? No, it's fine for now. Oh, hello. Wooden palisade, please. I didn't know you didn't have one. And one for you. And one for you. Oh, there you go. There goes my money. Oh, I was thinking about... No, I did start a wharf here and here. Alright. End turn. Yeah, the fact that this battle is still going on consistently. I mean, they're down to one, but... 
I'm surprised, at the very least. Oh, the Ba took it back. So I said no, which was a really bad idea for me, but I didn't want to fight the Ba. Ooh, encounter. Ah, this one down here. Sure. Sounds good to me. Go there. Or, yeah, go there. Notable statesman. Venerable teacher. Notable widow. Anybody else good? Famous teacher lives there. Uh, disease, disease. News of peace. Bon Zhao. Oh. That's not good. I want you guys to fight some more. I'm going this way because this guy seems like he's going to be able to do that. Oh god, the Han. The Han are pretty damn impressive there. They're chariots. Them and their chariots. Uh... Yeah, alright, so there's the armor that was on there before. So now we have 16, or if I go here, 17. Our armor is 12 now. If I compare that to you, can I even look at this one? Ah, I can. So before, it goes 10, 17, 12 instead of 10, 14, 9, which is much better. Got to admit. Oh, right. Um, yes, please. Uh, I already built that. We're getting some external trade, but not much. Another wall, please. And another wall. Well, the question is, should I stop doing this? Because you're not building farms if I don't. Well, you might be building farms, but... Um, seems like I'm building walls everywhere. Now, what else should I build? Should I just save money for the fact that at some point we're going to get the ability to do this, build courts everywhere, which is really needed. I might just save money for that. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're just gonna continue. We're probably going to go to war with, I keep saying it, like I'm trying to prepare as much as, much as I can. And I mean, in Yan, we, or Yin, we now have some decent soldiers we can produce but why are we back only at one and not five recruitment it doesn't say oh it doesn't show up i don't think unless it's all gone i mean these units are very good but it's how I, it's always like for me it's always like i want to build uh build up the economy more than build up the military military is just like the last thing to just crush someone for me at least uh, like in, in uh, Rise of Nations, I love that game, but I usually start out real quick, like boost the economy, and then after that, focus on military. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye.